When most people think of Australia, they think of the cute, cuddly marsupials or the deadly snakes and spiders. Like foreigners, either view Australia as a paradise or a hell on earth. There is no in-between. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is an in-between, and this is it. Australia's biggest pests. What will be number one? Number six. Ibis birds. Better known as bin chickens, these birds are the animal equivalent of Australian progressives. Surviving on a diet of garbage and parroting the collective sounds of those around them, both seem to harbour a sense of resentment towards humans and are known to chase and attack people. It's just pure luck that these bin chickens haven't discovered the world's biggest garbage dump of all. Twitter. Because those are some mean-spirited f***ing birds. Number 5. Magpies. Magpies are fine for three quarters out of every year, but come springtime, these birds turn into dive-bombing, heat-seeking torpedoes of death. They become crazy territorial because spring is when they have their chicks, fat, demanding burdens that take longer to mature than other bird species. So the dive-bombing is about keeping potential predators away from their babies. The problem is they're really aggressive and they share a lot of territory with humans and pets. They even caused the death of a guy recently. Number four, brush-tailed possums. Aw, they're so cute. That is, until they figure out the weaknesses in your tiling and climb into your roof, this is when they activate their special possum powers to turn the sound of their tiny little paws into the sound of a thousand thundering wild horses. And then they spend the next several hours running back and forth and round and round until you just wish the f*** would eat some poison and die. Number three, cockatoos. Cockatoos are just the worst. People love them because they look exotic and they act sassy, but just look at that look in her eye. Cockatoos are just terrible. They destroy everything. They gather in huge flocks that fly around in the hours just before dawn, all of them screaming and screeching at each other. Then they land in the trees outside your house and they do this repeatedly until about dusk. Every day. Forever. Number two, flies. It doesn't matter what day it is or what time of year. Flies are, they're just the worst. They're like this everywhere, all the time. Except Tasmania. And number one is Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch is a slimy species of octopus, one that likes to keep all its tentacles firmly embedded into multiple sources of influence and income at all times. The dude owns everything. And this has given him the opportunity to have enormous political influence, not only in Australia, but also England, where he was practically chased out because of the whole phone hacking scandal. And the USA. The politics policy on his website is... interesting. Murdoch has been a key figure for decades in shaping the political landscape of Australia through his various media assets. Propaganda, hit pieces and smear campaigns were among the forms used to do this. As a result, this pest has set the country back on environmental policy, journalistic transparency and integrity, and transformed the news media sector into opinion factories. No one private citizen should have that much personal influence. This type and this level of influence has the potential to shape nations. This species of octopus is incredibly invasive and pervasive, and most experts agree that culling is the only solution to severing the host's connections to its tentacles. <laughs>